hello viewers in today's class we are going to discuss yet another uh, important and conceptual problem from definite integrals involving greatest integer function right so viewers uh, the concept of uh, definite integral uh, plays a very important role in mathematics and uh, uh, we need to know uh, various type of concepts uh, in order to solve a certain special type of integrals right so here uh, we have to solve this uh, integral that is from minus 2 to 2 and uh, our integrand is sin x over uh, greatest integer of x over pi plus 2 right so let us solve it and let us first call this integral as i right so here uh, what we will do uh, we'll first uh, put uh, t is equal to x over pi right so when t is x over pi then x is equal to pi t and uh, differentiating both sides with respect to t uh, we have dx over dt is equal to pi the derivative of t is 1 so dx is now uh, pi dt right so for dx we have uh, pi uh, dt right okay now let us change the limits so now here uh, see x varies from minus 2 to 2 so when x is minus 2 then t is minus 2 over pi and when x is 2 t is uh, 2 over pi right so now uh, this integral uh, it takes the form uh, that is minus 2 over pi to 2 over pi and for sin x we have sin of pi t and uh, here in the denominator we have greatest integer of uh, t and plus 2 right because for x over pi we have t and for dx we have pi uh, dt right so now pi being a constant we can take it outside so we have pi uh, minus 2 over pi to 2 over pi and we have sine pi t over greatest integer of t plus 2 dt right okay so now viewers uh, here uh, we see that uh, t varies from uh, minus 2 over pi to 2 over pi right so let us uh, here uh, locate the integers that is minus 1 0 and 1 right okay so when we calculate this value that is 2 over pi then we uh, find that it is nearly equal to uh, 0 0.63 right so minus uh, 2 over pi is uh, approximately equal to uh, minus 0.63 right and minus 0.63 it lies between minus 1 and 0 right it lies somewhere here so here we have minus 0 0.63 and 0 0.63 that is positive 0 0.63 it lies somewhere here right so here we have 0 0.63 so this value can be taken as uh, minus 2 over pi and this value is 2 over pi right so now what we will do I uh, will break this uh, this integral as a sum of two integrals that is i1 and i2 right so i1 it goes from uh, uh, minus 2 over pi to uh, 0 and uh, we have sine pi t over greatest integer of uh, t and uh, here we have 2 dt and i2 goes from 0 to uh, 2 over pi right so here uh, we have uh, split this integral as a sum of uh, two integrals right okay so now we have to evaluate uh, these two integrals now see uh, t uh, varies from here minus 2 over pi to 0 so when t lies between minus 2 over pi and 0 right so the approximate value of 2 over pi is 0 0.63 so 
we have minus uh, 0.63 and uh, when t lies between these two numbers then by definition of greatest integer function the value of greatest integer t is minus 1 right and when uh, t lies uh, between uh, 0 and 2 over pi right so it means when t lies between 0 and 0.63 that is 0 to 0.63 then by definition of greatest integer function the value of greatest integer t is 0 right so now here uh, this term will take uh, the value minus 1 and this term will take the value uh, 0 right so now we can write pi and uh, this integral can be written as minus 2 over pi to 0 here we have sine pi t and here we have minus 1 plus 2 uh, dt and uh, here we have 0 to 2 over pi and sine pi t and uh, here we have 0 so 0 plus 2 dt right so now we have these two integrals we can uh, simplify them as pi and uh, we have minus 2 over pi to 0 and uh, sine pi t dt 2 minus 1 is 1 and here we have 0 to 2 over pi and this is uh, uh, 0 plus 2 is 2 so we have sine pi t uh, dt and we can take uh, this 2 uh, 1 over 2 outside this integral right so now we can uh, 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 solve these two integrals very easily so now we uh, know the standard formula that is integral of uh, sine uh, ax uh, dx is uh, minus 1 over a uh, cos ax right so here we have sine pi t and pi is the constant so we can write uh, i as uh, pi and we have uh, uh, minus 1 over pi and uh, cos of pi t and the limits are from minus 2 over pi to 0 and the second one is 1 over 2 and here we have minus 1 over pi cos of pi t and uh, the limits are from 0 to uh, 2 over pi right so now we have uh, this expression right so we see that uh, pi occurs in both these uh, um, terms so we can cancel out this pi and uh, here we have negative sign here also we have negative sign so we can take this negative sign outside so now we have cos of uh, uh, pi t and limits are from 2 over pi to 0 and uh, here we have cos pi t and we have uh, 0 to 2 over pi right so now we can uh, substitute the limits and we can find out the difference so we have minus here and here we have uh, cos of 0 because uh, t is 0 and minus cos of uh, pi multiplied minus 2 over pi is pi pi cancel so we have minus 2 here and then we have cos of 2 here pi and pi get cancelled so we are left with cos 2 minus cos of 0 right and here we know that cos of minus theta is equal to cos of uh, theta right so now viewers uh, we can uh, write this expression as minus and here we have cos of 0 is uh, 1 so we have 1 minus uh, cos of 2 right because cos of minus 2 is simply cos of 2 due to uh, due to this result right and uh, here we have plus cos of 2 uh, minus uh, cos 0 is 1 right and uh, now uh, uh, sorry here we have left this constant that is 1 over 2 so here we have 1 over 2 right so here also we have 1 over 
2 right so now this is uh, uh, 1 minus cos of 2 this is plus half cos of 2 and here we have minus half right okay so now uh, we can uh, simplify it so we have minus and 1 minus half is half and minus cos 2 plus half cos, cos 2 is plus half uh, plus half uh, sorry here we have minus half so we have minus half cos 2 right so now we can uh, this uh, we can multiply these two terms with this negative sign so we have half uh, cos 2 minus half and we can take half common so we have half of cos 2 minus 1 right so now viewers uh, either we can take uh, uh, the uh, solution of this uh, integral as uh, half uh, cos of 2 minus 1 right now we can also express this result uh, in a slightly different way by making use of uh, the trigonometrical identities so we know that cos of 2 theta is equal to 1 minus uh, 2 sine square uh, theta right so now if we take theta is equal to 1 so here uh, we are taking theta is equal to 1 so we have cos of 2 is equal to 1 minus 2 sine square uh, 1 right and uh, we can write cos 2 minus 1 is equal to minus 2 sine square 1 and now we have uh, uh, cos of 2 minus 1 as minus 2 sin square 1 so therefore I can be written as half and we have minus 2 uh, sin square 1 so 2 and 2 get cancelled so we have minus uh, sin square 1 right so this is one more uh, result right so either we can use this result or we can use this result right uh, but uh, we can still uh, write this uh, result in a slightly different way by making again uh, use of uh, trigonometry. So now viewers uh, we know that the relation between the radians and degrees so pi radians uh, pi radians is uh, equal to uh, 180 degrees right so one radian uh, we can uh, uh, use the symbol c for radian so pi radian uh, is equal to 180 degrees so one radian is equal to 180 over pi uh, degrees right and here we have one radian so i can be written as minus sine square uh, we can write for one uh, 180 over pi uh, degrees right so this is the uh, third result uh, in which we can express uh, the value of uh, uh, this integral right so viewers uh, this is how we have seen uh, this interesting and challenging integral uh, how to solve uh, such type of uh, integrals right